Antigen Presentation, Wikipedia Article Audio Antigen presentation describes a vital immune process which is essential for T-cell immune response triggering. Because T-cells recognize only fragmented antigens displayed on cell surfaces, antigen processing must occur before the antigen fragment, now bound to the major histocompatibility complex, is transported to the surface of the cell, a process known as presentation, where it can be recognized by a T-cell receptor. If there has been an infection with viruses or bacteria, the cell will present an endogenous or exogenous peptide fragment derived from the antigen bound to MHC molecules. There are two types of MHC molecules which differ in the source of the antigens. MHC class I molecules bind peptides from the cell cytosol, while peptides generated in the endocytic vesicles after internalization are bound to MHC class II. Cellular membranes separate these two cellular environments, intracellular and extracellular. Each T cell can finally recognize only 10 to hundreds copies of a unique sequence of a single peptide among thousands of other peptides presented on the very same cell because MHC molecule in one cell can bind quite a large range of peptides. Cytotoxic T cells express CD8 corceptor are a population of T cells that are specialized for inducing programmed cell death of other cells. Cytotoxic T cells regularly patrol all body cells to maintain the organismal homeostasis. Whenever they encounter signs of disease, caused for example by the presence of viruses or intracellular bacteria or a transformed tumor cell, they initiate processes to destroy the potentially harmful cell. All nucleated cells in the body display class I major histocompatibility complex. Antigens generated endogenously within these cells are bound to MHC I molecules and presented on the cell surface. This antigen presentation pathway enables the immune system to detect transformed or infected cells displaying peptides from modified self or foreign proteins. Presentation of Intracellular Antigens, Class I Presentation of Extracellular Antigens, Class II In the presentation process, these proteins are mainly degraded into small peptides by cytosolic proteases in the proteasome, but there are also other cytoplasmic proteolytic pathways. Then, Peptides are distributed to the endoplasmic reticulum via the action of heat shock proteins and the transporter associated with antigen processing which translocates the cytosolic peptides into the ER lumen in an ADP-dependent transport mechanism. There are several ER chaperones involved in MHCI assembly, such as calnexin, chloreticulin, and topicin. Peptides are loaded to MHCI peptide binding groove between two alpha helices at the bottom of the alpha-1 and alpha-2 domains of the MHC class I molecule. After releasing from topicin, peptide MHCI complexes exit the ER and are transported to the cell surface by exocytic vesicles. Naive antiviral T cells cannot directly eliminate transformed or infected cells. They have to be activated by the PMHCI complexes of antigen presenting cells. Here, antigen can be presented directly or indirectly from virus infected and non infected cells. After the interaction between PMHCI and TCR, in presence of costimulatory signals and slash or cytokines, T cells are activated, migrate to the peripheral tissues and kill the target cells by inducing cytotoxicity. Cross-presentation is a special case in which MHCI molecules are able to present extracellular antigens, usually displayed only by MHC2 molecules. This ability appears in several APCs, 
mainly plasmacytoid dendritic cells in tissues that stimulate CD8 plus T cells directly. This process is essential when APCs are not directly infected, triggering local antiviral and anti-tumor immune responses immediately without trafficking the APCs in the local lymph nodes. Antigens from the extracellular space and sometimes also endogenous ones, are enclosed into endocytic vesicles and presented on the cell surface by MHC2 molecules to the helper T cells expressing CD4 molecule. Only APCs do express the class 2 of MHC molecules on the surface in large quantity, such as dendritic cells, B cells, or macrophages so expression of MHC2 molecules is more cell-specific than MHCI. APCs usually internalize exogenous antigens by endocytosis, but also by pinocytosis, macroautophagy, endosomal microautophagy or chaperone-mediated autophagy. In the first case, after internalization, the antigens are enclosed in vesicles called endosomes. There are three compartments involved in this antigen presentation pathway, early endosomes, late endosomes, or endolysosomes and lysosomes, where antigens are hydrolyzed by lysosome-associated enzymes. This process is favored by gradual reduction of the pH. The main proteases in endosomes are cathepsins and the result is the degradation of the antigens into oligopeptides. Presentation of native intact antigens to B cells MHC2 molecules are transported from the ER to the MHC class II loading compartment together with the protein invariant chain. A non-classical MHC2 molecule catalyses the exchange of part of the CD74 with the peptide antigen. Peptide MHC2 complexes are transported to the plasma membrane and the processed antigen is presented to the helper T cells in the lymph nodes. APCs undergo a process of maturation while migrating, via chemotactic signals, to lymphoid tissues in which they lose the phagocytic capacity and develop an increased ability to communicate with T-cells by antigen presentation. As well as in CD8 plus cytotoxic T-cells, APCs need PMHC2 and additional costimulatory signals to fully activate naive T-helper cells. Alternative pathway of endogenous antigen processing and presentation over MHC2 molecules exists in medullary thymic epithelial cells via the process of autophagy. It is important for the process of central tolerance of T cells in particular the negative selection of autoreactive clones. Random gene expression of the whole genome is achieved via the action of air and a self-digestion of the expressed molecules presented on both MHCI and MHC2 molecules. B-cell receptors on the surface of B-cells bind to intact native and undigested antigens of structural nature, rather than to a linear sequence of a peptide which has been digested into small fragments and presented by MHC molecules. Large complexes of intact antigen are presented in lymph nodes to B cells by follicular dendritic cells in the form of immune complexes. Some APCs expressing comparatively lower levels of lysosomal enzymes are thus less likely to digest the antigen they have captured before presenting it to B cells.